Juniper Systems is pleased to announce that Uinta version 2.0 is now available to all users on both Windows and Android. This video is intended to demonstrate how to get all set up with Uinta version 2.0, as well as migrate your existing project data to the new version. Before we begin, let's go ahead and review what are the key benefits of Uinta version 2.0. In Uinta 2.0, generally there's database performance improvements, better license management, improved Uinta project sharing and management, as well as general bug fixes and performance enhancements. In this video, we're going to be reviewing an email that was sent to all users associated with the current Uinta license. If you did not receive this email, talk to others in your organization or the person who purchased Uinta on your behalf, and maybe they have received that email. If you still can't find the email, contact Juniper System. The Uinta software team is happy to assist and resend the email, or they can even help you migrate to Uinta version 2.0 online. First thing we're going to do is let's find that email. There's a version of it, and we're going to jump right to these steps here. So the first thing you want to do in step one is make sure you identify is who's going to be the new Uinta license administrator moving forward. This is not a big responsibility, but it's somebody who's going to be able to assign license to other users, or they can revoke license from users and then reassign them to others. So they're going to be the person that is associated to the Uinta account. And the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we synchronize all, all data to the cloud on all devices prior to doing the migration. We don't want to leave data that's being collected in the previous version. I'm going to switch over to Uinta. I've got one project. It's called Project 1234. All I need to do to make sure that it's synchronized to the cloud is push this button. And you'll notice it's done synchronizing. Whenever you open a project, it triggers a synchronization as well. So you can see some project data there. I've also got my mobile device connected. So you can see also it has project 1234. So these two, pro these two devices are both working on the same project. In this case, it's Android. I'm just going to open the project. You can see the same project data there. I'm going to select Cloud Sync to perform a manual Cloud Sync and push everything to the cloud. Just want to make sure everything syncs. Once you're done, you're ready to move on to the next step. Step number three, this should be performed by the person who you've identified to be the Uinta administrator, because this person is going to redeem a coupon link that takes credit from a previous purchase and migrates it to the new version as well. This is going to be associated to the email, and so that's why we want it to be the person who is the Uinta license administrator. Select this link here, and you're going to see the, the credit that's going to be applied, and then you're going to be prompted to create an account. First, you're going to be presented with this. You need to create an account, and I've already had a, an account created, so you see it remembered here in my browser, but in your case, you're going to need to sign up now. And you'll enter the email address and verify that email address and then fill out the remaining uh, form. I've already created an account, so I'm going to go ahead and just log in. And I'm going to be directed to the new Uinta License Manager website. So here you can see I've got multiple licenses associated with this account. Um, each of these are slightly different email addresses, and I can assign new license to new users. I can revoke existing licenses that other users have. I can see devices that are currently logged in here, but this new license manager tool uh, is a good tool to bookmark and make sure you have access to it, especially if you have multiple users within your organization and you want to manage that account. Once you've successfully created your account and logged into the Uinta License Manager, we're going to move to step four. You're going to install Uinta version 2.0 on all of your devices. So in Windows, you're going to notice a pop up that prompts you to install the new version. Go ahead and do that. Make sure you allow the software to be installed within your organization. And on Android, depending on your settings, you may just automatically get updated and you may see that you're being prompted to log in. The login that you're going to need is the same login that you created in step three. At this point, we want to make sure that the Uinta administrator successfully logs into Uinta on their device. 
If you did not see a pop up on your Windows device to prompt you to install Uinta version 2.0, you can also find it on our website on the Uinta product page following the download section, and you'll be able to see the latest version that you can install there. Once the installation is complete, find Uinta installed on your Windows 10 or Android device, launch Uinta. Log into Uinta using the credentials that you created in step three. And here you see I've already done that. We've completed step four, installed the Uinta software, and updated all of the devices, and we've logged into Uinta on those devices. Step five, in the Uinta project screen, we need to now migrate each project to version 2.0. So let's switch back to Uinta. As you can see, I've already logged in with my account and I've had existing projects there, but I wanted to demonstrate here how to migrate your project from the previous version to the new version. So remember, we worked with project 1234, and here you see it, and it's kind of grayed out. Remember, this was the one that's also on my mobile device. So let's go ahead and migrate this project data, and you can see this icon here is a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm not going to delete this project. I want to actually migrate it. Let's go ahead and migrate it. Gives me some warning. Ask me if I want to migrate now, and I do. It was a cloud project, and I still want it to be a cloud project. So I'm going to say yes. And now I've successfully migrated my project to Uinta version 2.0. In version 2.0, uh, we do have new features related to project ac access. I can add users and assign this by email to other users as well. But in this case, I'm not going to do that just yet. So I'm going to X out of this here. The project was created in the cloud. You see all of my data there. I have all of my records. I like to just uh, perform a cloud sync for good measure. If I go back, you can now see that this project is no longer grayed out and it no longer has the migration icon. It just has the three dots. You can open the project, you can edit the project, you can manage access to the project, and you can export the project. So that project is now in Uinta version 2.0 cloud. If you had a lot of other projects, you would need to perform that same migration for each of those projects. Notice this one is a project that's been shared to me, but it hasn't yet been downloaded. So I'm not yet going to download this here. After migrating my project data successfully, I'm going to then return to the email to finish the remaining steps. If you only have one Uinta license, you are now ready to start using Uinta. And I recommend that you follow the new training videos associated with Uinta 2.0. For those with multiple licenses, follow steps six through eight. In step six, you're going to use the new license manager website to assign licenses to the additional users by their email address. So remember, this was the Uinta license manager. Here in this example, I've got five total licenses. One is still available to assign to somebody. I can push the button here, enter that person's email address, and assign the license to that person. I'm going to assign this license. You'll notice that they have been invited, but they haven't set anything up yet or logged into any of their devices. If I had to, I could revoke a license and reassign it to somebody else if I needed to assign the license elsewhere. But in this case, if I assigned it to a new user, that new user is going to receive an email. And step seven is the instructions for that user once they receive the email. They're going to just follow the instructions on their email, set up their account login, and install Uinta version 2.0 on their devices. I'm going to switch over to my new version on the mobile device. We're going to pretend that I already received the email. I've already set up my account as the new mobile user out in the field. Now I've got Uinta installed. I'm going to open it up. Once I've logged in, you'll notice that your license was successfully activated. They may also be prompted to migrate projects uh, to the new version. If you've already migrated all projects to Uinta 2.0 in previous steps, these other users do not need to migrate any projects. They can delete the projects from their project screen 
and they will re receive it back once shared to them in the next step. They don't need to duplicate that migration. So in the Uinta project screen, similar to what I saw in the Windows version, you can notice that they're all the same projects that's associated to my login account. I'm going to switch now to step eight. So I'm going to go to Uinta. This is the Uinta license admin. If I want to share this project to some other user, I'm going to select these three dots over here and choose manage access. And notice I'm the only user Trevor B at junipersys.com with access to the project, and I'm an admin for this project. I'm going to add additional users to this project now. Let's go ahead. Here's somebody else within my organization. I can type it. If I didn't see their name automatically, I can type it. But in this case, I'm going to select that. I'm going to, and this person, I now have the option to set that person as an admin because I want them to be able to change templates. I want them to be able to have full access to this project. If I did not want them to do that, I can keep them as a non-admin. So in this case, I've added them to the project. I've selected the checkbox, and now I've updated the access to this project. And we can validate that by looking at it again. And notice now there's two users in here with access to this project. So this is the way for the project owner to manage access to who can see and not see the project. OK, so now let's switch over to the mobile user. You can see I've got multiple projects that have been shared to me or that I created. I don't see project one, two, three, four, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh my list. And now you see project one, two, three, four is now in my list and I'm going to go ahead and download that project. So I don't want to delete it. I want to download it. I do want to download it. It's downloaded. Now I see the same project, project one, two, three, four, that's been shared to me here. They're the same exact project data. Now, if I collect data on one, you're going to see it on the other side. So once you've completed this step, you successfully migrated to Uinta version 2.0 and you should be good to go. If you do have questions, please don't hesitate to contact Juniper Systems and the Uinta software team is happy to assist you.